This should be a fun little project today. You up for it, bud? Okay. You got a thumbs up for me? He's up for anything with the tractor. flattened tire yeah we may have to do something about those flat tires or it's not gonna roll very good with flat tires what do you think well let's take it around and, and get a better look at it Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. And today, we're gonna replace the tires on this hay wagon. But we're not just doing it for something to do or because my grand plan is to completely restore this hay wagon. We're doing it because I need to use it. Anyone who's been following along knows we're building a Quonset hut. So all the videos I've seen on putting up a Quonset hut, the people rented a scissor lift and used that to reach the top to run all the bolts in. Well, I could do that, and I've been planning to do that, but it's an extra 300 and some dollars, and I've gotta go get it, and that whole process. This is already here. So what I'm gonna do is do a little work on this hay wagon, and then I'm gonna build kind of a redneck scaffolding on it, and we're gonna drive that down the center. I think it's gonna be exactly the right height. It's gonna give us a convenient way to work on that building and get the job done, and replacing the tires is something I wanted to do anyway. Are you doing all right over there, buddy? Thumbs up? Okay, be careful climbing. So, so I've already found a local tire shop that has the tires I need. I've priced them. We're gonna get these off, get some new tires on, and then we'll get to that scaffolding build. As far as trying to do this safely when I'm taking off three tires at once, because I actually have a spare wheel, we don't have to take all four off, I'll save the best one of these. But to take three tires off this as safely as possible, I have four jack stands, I'll put two under each axle, then I've got a floor jack, I'll put that under the rear axle, and I'll put the loader under the front axle, so each axle will have three points of support. And I think that's about the best I can do. The story with this hay wagon and these tires is pretty similar to the last video which was about how I was getting a 30 foot by 60 foot equipment building that I want but trying to find a way to do it at a more reasonable price and when I look at this I just went and got four of these 12 ply tires that cost more than this hay wagon cost and I could have actually rented a scissor lift for less than these tires but this has a long-term value where once you rent a piece of equipment like that and you take it back you know that money's gone whereas I mean now if I want to use this for whatever uh, not just a mobile scaffolding but I mean I could use it as an actual hay wagon 
and I'd much rather put my money into something that's going to have a lasting value. After spending quite a bit on these and then seeing that it's a 12 ply tire, the max load of 1400 kilograms. I believe I saw on the other side that that's like 6,000 pounds. You know, that's, I'm never gonna put that much weight on it. I probably could have got a lower grade tire, but these will definitely do the job. Here, okay. I think I might turn it, but I can do a little trial and error now that it's up here. It fits pretty well, actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna bolt this where it can't move. Set IBC totes on the side that are about this tall, and then I'll have three different platforms we can stand on, and then just pull this down the center of the building. That's perfect. <laughs> I, think it, I think it'll actually be really good. This scaffolding is something else I just happened to have. If I didn't have this, I'd probably just use IBC totes. But I'm gonna take some measurements and decide which way I wanna turn this, and which side of it the IBC totes are gonna fit on, but I think I'm gonna have a two-layered platform. The hay wagon's about three foot tall. The scaffolding is six foot tall. That gets you to nine foot standing on it. And then I've got an eight foot reach, means I can reach to 17 feet. And the building will be just under 16 feet. So, should be pretty comfortable actually. But obviously we want this to be safe and secure, so I'm going to try a couple different options and we'll see how to get this fastened down where it's not going to move. Alright, well I think you can see the way this is going to work. I wasn't able to completely finish the project today, at least not before dark, because the tire shop was pretty busy and it took them a while to get my tires ready. So I'm going to screw two by fours around the IBC totes so they can't slide. Then I'm going to take some heavy duty ratchet straps, put them around the IBC totes and around the scaffolding, wrap those down around the frame. Then it should be pretty stable. I mean, a hay wagon is solid and it's gonna hold all the weight we need. I can just start at one end as we're working and just drive it down as we go. And I think it'll be a good solution for this. The only things I've got left to do is strap everything down and I need to put some decking across the top of the IBC totes to stand on and to set tools on. The actual scaffolding has a built-in removable shelf that'll go on top of there, so. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. You should see more of our videos right here, and I'll see you next time.